Hey everyone, I'm back with part two and this is um, part two for my swap video that I did with the lovely Ruby who is Little Books here on YouTube and again I'm going to have the link to her um, YouTube channel in the description box. Please go over and sub to this super lovely lady. She's just such an inspiration to me. Um, she's so talented and I'm just thrilled to be able to get to know her better and to have done this swap with her. So let me um, take the things out of this package. Oh my gosh, and again, everything smells so heavenly. It really does. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this a little bit more, I think. Let's see what's here. Now, oh my goodness, how beautiful. Oh my gosh, okay. So this had a little card on top, Ruby. So let me see what this says. Oh, okay, so it says more tags for books. So I think, I'm not sure which one it was on. It might have been on this one. I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Let me have a little peek here. And she's wrapped it again in this beautiful um, tissue paper with the roses on it. And again, I absolutely gorgeous ivory set double face satin ribbon here look at how beautiful this ribbon is just lovely and oh the smell is just heavenly like i said it's so beautiful it's got to be um her scent that she creates in her books now if this is the tags nope it's not oh maybe it is yes it is oh these are for the book okay i'm gonna just put that aside for a minute then so that was on that one. So that's going to go with the journal. Okay, so because we're going to do that last. Save that. And then we'll open this one up. And again, she has wrapped it in beautiful ivory satin and a wide um, satin here. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you for all this gorgeous ribbon, Ruby. It's just absolutely stunning. Now, I don't know if this is the book. <laughs> I'm not sure. This could be it. This could be it. It's hard to know. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my goodness. Is this the book? Oh, it's Oh my gosh, Ruby, what did you do? Oh, it is the book, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh. Now, did you make me two? Because I don't... Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Let me just put my camera up a little bit here. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh. Look at the butterfly. Oh, it's stunning. She did put a video up of this, but I tried not to look at it because I didn't want to peek. I wanted to be surprised. Oh, it's beautiful, Ruby. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Can you see all these beautiful layers she's got on here? This is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. She's, I'm sorry, <laughs> just like in awe. Okay, let me undo it so I can open it up and you can see the whole thing. Oh my goodness. And she's tied it with this beautiful crochet trim. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Let me, oh, whoops. Little button came off there. Oh my goodness, how am I gonna open this? There we go. I think those were in a pocket. Look at this, how she's done this, the outside of the book. 
she's used and now I know this was a, a beautiful vintage tablecloth that she got and oh I'm so honored to have a piece of that because this was just the most beautiful cloth that she shared on her YouTube channel so thank you for including a piece of that here Ruby because I know that was a very special piece to you <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at all these layers of trims. And look at this one here, this beautiful vintage eyelet. She's got some shabby fabric here. And now see here, um, Ruby had done a tutorial on her channel um, doing some bobbin work on her machine. And you, you actually put embroidery thread in your bobbin and then you flip the work upside down and sew on top. And then you get this beautiful um, look of hand embroidered um, trim from your machine. So you actually are turning your sewing machine into an embroidery machine. And I have done this technique a couple of times now and I absolutely love it. I love it. Oh, Ruby, this is just, it's gorgeous. I love how you did this butterfly here. Look at the butterfly. Let me close that up now so you can see all the details. Look at this beautiful butterfly. And then she's gone around it with fabric and paper. She's got doilies here, more vintage laces, this beautiful hand rolled flower here. Oh my gosh, it is stunning. It's absolutely stunning, Ruby. Oh, I love how you just piece together these vintage trims and laces. Oh my goodness, I really hope you like what I made you. Oh my gosh. Oh, Ruby, I love it. This is just going to be one of my most cherished items I own. I love it. I love it. Oh, wow. Look at this, you guys. Look at how beautiful. So this first page here, she's used some vintage linen. Oh, I love how you just add these wonderful pieces you know, they're so unexpected, but it's like you expect it at the same time. It's unexpected, but expected in a way. Like, it should be there, is what I'm trying to say. It, it's just beautiful. Oh, look at She's done all the embroidered work here several times in several different colors. <gasps> oh, Ruby, these are amazing. Oh, look at this. Oh, lavender. Oh, I love lavender. Oh, that is just heaven oh ruby these are it's beautiful and she made oh a little wall hanging okay so these were in the pocket so she had added some of these pieces and they were in the pocket um, and they're buttons blingy buttons i love these these are gorgeous ruby thank you so much for those they're absolutely stunning Hope you can see those. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you, Ruby. And then Ruby gets the coolest ideas. These are actually paper plates. And she irons them flat and makes wall hangings with them. Look at how fantastic this is. I love the colors. She's added, oh, I'm sure this is hand dyed. A lot of these laces are hand dyed, I'm sure. And look at the color of this one. It's like a dark peach color. And she's added some paper to the back of the plate. But what a fantastic idea, ironing a paper plate. Like, I never would have thought of that. It's just incredibly clever and so talented. And look at the beads she's got on here. And little crocheted flowers and paper flowers and a seam binding hanger at the top. All the pearls. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at all these vintage pieces here. Absolutely stunning. Oh, Ruby. And this beautiful, nice, deep pocket here. Oh, I love it, Ruby. I love it. Oh, if you guys could smell. Mmm, I love lavender. Love it. And then this page here, she's done another plate. And then she's embroidered this little heart here. 
She's added all kinds of vintage laces and trims, and I'm sure she's dyed these little pink doilies here. And look at this um, cheesecloth here in the lavender color going around the image. She's got buttons, seam binding, dangle trims, beautiful um, shabby fabric underneath, beads. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And she's even sewn around here on the plate. Look at Oh, it's so cool. I love it. Just, ah, oh, Ruby, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful, Ruby. Oh, my goodness. Look at, oh, my gosh, look at this. Oh, the pockets are amazing. They're amazing. Oh, and look, a stick pin right here. Okay, let me just move that way. Okay. So she's done this beautiful vintage linen here, made this great big deep, deep pocket. Um, and there's some of that fabric she sent me on the bottom here, that burlap fabric. She's sewn down some beautiful blue um, lace, and then she's made another one of her beautiful hat pins here. Vintage doily with bling. And then in the pockets, oh my goodness, she's put all kinds of beautiful items. Look at this. The work that has gone into this is just, oh, Ruby, these are beautiful. Look at these. Backed onto muslin and paper. Look at this one. I love these hearts. They're made out of felt. Oh, I love these. Ruby, these are gorgeous. Look at how deep this pocket is. Like, my goodness. Oh, this is beautiful, Ruby. Thank you so much. Look at how amazing these are. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I'm holding it in my hand. <laughs> I'm so excited. And then she's got this beautiful um, vintage piece here that flaps over this way. Some lace that she's done in the center here. And then here she's Mod Podge this napkin down. And it just feels so lush. She's put that on muslin. And she's Mod Podge that down. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this dangle she created here with the beads and the seam binding. And look at this vintage trim here. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That is old, you can tell. Oh my gosh, and another felt heart with button. More of that beautiful fabric. Lavender colored lace and look at the beads running up the side here. Oh my gosh, Ruby, and some blue dyed um, trim up here at the top. Oh my gosh, Ruby, it's just stunning. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, look at it. this beautiful fabric and a big, nice deep pocket made with... Um, a doily and probably more of your dyed uh, doily pieces here. This beautiful rose fabric and um, this butterfly here. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And look at this. I love this piece here. Oh my goodness. I love deer and. Um, this beautiful stag. We have uh, deer in, that come in our backyard every day. Um, so I'm blessed to live in a very wildlife heavy area. And uh, so we have deer in our yard all the time. So I love that that is in there. I really love it. Oh, Ruby, this is just, look at the buttons. And a doily. She's done more of her embroidered stitching around here. Oh my gosh. I mean, you're you're just an artist. I love that there's a bit of tartan here. Love that. Just absolutely, truly amazing artist. Look at the workmanship here. 
It's absolutely incredible. I love this pocket here. So that is part of a napkin, I believe. Beautiful vintage button there. Doily, lace, more vintage linens. Look at this beautiful trim here. This little delicate little um, lace trim here. Um, some dyed seam binding. And of course, these are more of her dyed pieces here. I'm sure of it. Gorgeous pocket. Love it. And then here, oh, this was this peacock fabric that she was talking about on one of her videos. I love the pom-poms. I just love touching everything. It is really, really tactile. I love that. I love it. French ticking in the background with more of her embroidered work and then beautiful dyed pieces down here at the bottom and lavenders and creams and a little bit of green. <sighs> the colors. I'm it's just such a happy book. Oh, Ruby, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. So let me move my camera down a little bit now and we'll look at the we'll look at the pieces that she sent to go in the pocket. I'm very, very excited about that. And um, so thank you for including these to go in, in here. My gosh, this is just a masterpiece. It really is. Wow. Oh, look at it. So now I get to have fun going through and putting these in here. So I'm very excited about that. Ruby, your work is just absolutely incredible. Look at the stitching on that and the paper. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's all just absolutely stunning and gorgeous. Oh, look, the queen, the queen. That's cool. Was that on some paper? Or did you print that? Love it. Love it. I am a royalist, so what can I say? Now this is like a double-sided... Oh, look at these butterflies. How... I mean, you cannot look at this, this work and not smile. Oh my goodness. It's just... This is a little wall hanging here. Oh, Ruby, you're incredible. You're incredible. And here's another little wall hanging she's done. How wonderful to have little wall hangings for a journal. And there's more of that beautiful fabric and some crochet cotton. These are just amazing. Look at this. I love that she uses snippets and a little bit of tartan makes me happy. <laughs> Look at these beautiful images too. So shabby. Oh, more butterflies. Oh, Ruby, these are incredible. I'm going to have so much fun putting those in the book later. Thank you so much, my dear friend. Okay, so this is the last piece here. So um, I'm not sure what that is, but we'll open it up and find out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Ruby, it's just amazing. Just amazing. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, it's another journal you made too. Oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. One fabric and one paper. Okay, that's funny because I may have done the same thing. <laughs> oh, look it. Oh, Ruby, it's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny that you made two because, yeah, I did too. <laughs> Great minds think alike. <laughs>
couldn't decide if I wanted to do fabric or paper. So I was like, yeah, I'll do both. And then you did both. That's funny. And we didn't even tell each other we were doing that. That's hilarious. So she's used this beautiful sari trim here to tie the journal up. Oh, how blessed am I to have two of your journals? Oh my goodness. Sorry. Look at her. She's used um, more vintage trims. Oh, this is incredible. This is amazing. Um, rolled, hand rolled flowers she's done here. Beautiful vintage trims and laces. Little bits of fabric, washi tape. Another one of those beautiful hearts. And again, the scent on here is just incredible. And she has Mod Podge some napkins on here. I love how you did the binding with some fabrics and laces. Look at how she did that. And that's the back. I love that it's uneven. I love the feel of this. It's so incredible. Oh, wow, this is amazing. Oh, Ruby, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Look at you guys. It says, and the sun took a step back. The leaves lulled themselves to sleep and autumn was awakened. Oh, Ruby, this is incredible. Look at a little bit of tartan, some fabric. This lovely mossy green color that I love. Beaded trim, laces. Very vintage buttons there that she's hand sewn on. Oh my gosh, I love how you bound this with the fabrics. Oh, wow. And a beautiful um, Mod Podge page over here with some vintage um, laces. And she's got a little pocket here with a little um, clothes peg. And I'm sure she's hand dyed this um, cheesecloth here. Some vintage sari here. Oh, I love it. It feels amazing. Look at the buttons. She's hand sewn all these on and then some beautiful laces here. This is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, and then journaling pages. Look at with the tartan. Oh, and some beautiful pink trim here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Ruby, I will cherish this and I'm totally going to be writing in this. Oh, I love it. And this is her tea dyed paper. And she has a video on her channel about how she tea dyes her paper. It's very cool, actually. She does it very different than I do. And I love the color it's come out. That's that good British tea, right? <laughs> Oh, look at, look at this. Pansies. It says, pansies for thought, so let it be. Mine are of you, let yours be of me. Ah. Oh my gosh, well, I will definitely be thinking of you when I write in this, Ruby. Look at this. Oh, I love it. I love it, Ruby. Look at this. Beautiful washi tape and another gorgeous stick pin here. I just love the feel of this. Look at this gorgeous vintage trim there on the edge. Can you imagine writing in this? Oh, it's going to be so fantastic. And look at this beautiful um, pieces here. Oh, wow. Look at that paper. I love this. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I love how that looks. That's a great thing about tea dyeing and coffee dyeing paper. You get pieces that come out like that. Ruby, these pages are just beautiful and it's really nice paper too. It's good quality paper. Oh, look, there's the other side of that one. Love it. I love it. Oh, this is amazing. And that's a little pocket or a little tuck spot. Some Paris washi tape. Look at how she's bound this with the fabric. I love that idea. 
This is incredible. And then she's got some craft paper here that she's added. And then another um, paper that she's Mod Podged here. And this beautiful piece of tartan. Another napkin. Oh, I just, I love it. The artistry that is in, in these books. Look at that. It says my love at the back here. Oh, Ruby, these, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, Ruby. <laughs> I, I, I've run out of descriptor words to use for your art. It's just incredible and amazing. Um, I just don't even, thank you doesn't seem enough. It's just, wow. Um, you guys have to go over and check out Ruby's channel. As you can see, she is an extremely talented lady. And, you know, more than anything, I am just blessed to call you friend. And uh, thank you for doing the swap with me. I am truly honored to be able to have some of your art in my home and to be able to look at it every day. And I'm definitely going to be using this journal to write in. It's such a keepsake. It all is. It's all beautiful. Um, and thank you for just taking the time to do a, a swap with me. I'm so humbled by your art. So thank you, Ruby, so, so much. So guys, please go over and check out her channel. Um, you will find everything in the description box below to get over to Ruby's channel. And thank you again, Ruby, for everything, Mwah, my dear friend. So your package is on its way, and hopefully you'll have it soon, hun. Take care, everybody. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.